So here we go. Super speed in overview of getting sound onto your, your Keynote movie. First, you're going to go into GarageBand. You're going to select Movie. That's the movie that you exported from the actual project. And you're going to, I just use whatever, C, 120 bits, beats per minute, blah, blah, blah. So I canceled that. I'll open up my movie that I already had going, give you a quick look at that. Basically, you're going to need to add your sound effects. The movie track will be up here at top. First piece of advice is the movie will not automatically be um, in your actual view. So what you want to do is you want to hover over it, click to open a preview window. That will open up a preview window, which I currently have off screen. You'll be able to put that on screen, scale it up as big as you need. Add your voices. You can see right here, this says male radio, mouse voice, whatever. The sound effects come from the effects area on any track that you select on. You can actually do things to that track, so select on the track, and then you can choose from any and all of the effects. One of the coolest things to do is to actually select an effect, play it, see what it sounds like, then you can go over to the Edit tab, and you can look at all of the different effects that are applied onto that effect in order to see what it does to it. All you have to do is check and uncheck in order to turn them on and off. Once you get the setting which you, the way that you want, you can add effects into this area. You can choose from all of the different presets. I actually recorded this. This is myself right here The in the intro that you hear. I just basically did a long monotone sound of the intro of the words as the word dropped in. And when it comes to the sound effects, what you want to do is get sound effects from either online or a good CD library. All you're going to do is apply sound effects on their own track. You can see that I've got these two bullets here. They basically correspond to each time that the little bullet points hit for the logo or the name filtered. And then I've got uh, an effect for when I fade in and effect when I fade out. When you finally have all of your effects applied onto your movie, then what you're going to do is you're going to share that. The one thing to remember is that what whatever the movie comes in at in terms of frame rate, etc., you're going to send that right out. That's right under share. You're going to go to export movie to disk. Once you do, you're simply going to choose full quality because you're then going to be taking this into whatever program you're using to edit your final movies. This is just your little intro movie for each of your individual videos. And that's pretty much it.